When a young boy was abandoned on a bench, many would have believed that life was over for him. However, a kind man discovered the abandoned child and took him home, raising him as his own son. Ten years later, the boy's biological mother was shocked when she discovered something that she could not believe. Ethan sat on the park bench, clutching his beloved teddy bear tightly against his small chest. He was only four years old, yet he was all alone, tears streaming down his innocent little face. His watery eyes looked around the large open park, hoping to spot his mother's familiar figure coming back for him, but she was nowhere to be seen. She had just stood up and walked away without so much as a glance back. Minutes turned into hours, the passing time only making Ethan feel even more lonely and scared. His sobs echoed through the park, alerting the attention of concerned passers-by, who couldn't help but be drawn to the young boy, who had been left abandoned. As the sun began to set, casting an orange glow over the park, a kind jogger named Bernard noticed Ethan's heart-wrenching cries and joined the small gathering of people around him. His heart filled with a sad kind of compassion as he approached the distraught little boy and learned that his mother had abandoned him. He whispered softly to him that everything was going to be okay, feeling an inexplicable connection with this vulnerable young boy, something inside Bernard's third, for he had always longed to have a child of his own, but the right opportunity had never presented itself. Maybe, just maybe, this was a blessing in disguise. Bernard made the compassionate decision to take Ethan under his protective wing. He welcomed him into his modest yet warm home, and together they started to transform it into a sanctuary of safety and love where the boy could heal from the heartbreak and trauma that he had been through. Bernard's caring nature seemed to radiate from him as he prepared a warm and delicious meal, filling the air with all kinds of mouth-watering smells that made Ethan feel like he was once again in a safe and loving environment. But most evenings, as Bernard would lovingly tuck Ethan into a cozy bed in the spare room, the young boy would cry, clearly still feeling the weight of his rejection. Bernard would sit by him and cuddle him until Ethan's tears gradually subsided and he was finally able to fall asleep. Bernard would stay beside the bed and watch over the poor little boy, his soothing presence and gentle touch easing his worries and fears. Because with Bernard, Ethan was finally safe and loved. One day though, Ethan felt comfortable enough to open up about what happened on that fateful day at the park. It was several months after the event, yet his young mind was still able to recall some details. He had kept them to himself for all those months. Though he finally felt comfortable enough with his adoptive father that he could open up and explain. The little boy started talking, and Bernard listened attentively, barely able to comprehend what the child was saying. Ethan sadly revealed that his mother had begun dating a wealthy man who held a strong dislike towards him. Ethan didn't understand what he had done wrong, but no matter what, her mother's boyfriend just did not like him. The situation became more distressing when the boyfriend presented a terrible ultimatum to her. She had to make a choice between him or her own son. Unfortunately, overcome by the allure of having all of the money that she could ever dream of, Ethan's mother decided to abandon him on the park bench. She opted to embark on a new life with a rich boyfriend, while her own flesh and blood was left behind, left to fend for himself in a cruel and cold world. Bernard could not believe what he was hearing, and he could not comprehend how someone could choose their partner over their son it just didn't make any sense to him. Still, from that day on, he doubled down on his vow to look after Ethan and protect him from any hurts in this world. It was the least he could do for this beautiful young boy. Months turned into years, and the bond between Ethan and Bernard flourished. Bernard's sense of love and responsibility grew stronger, knowing he needed to provide not only emotional support, but also the means to ensure Ethan never wanted for anything. He dedicated his time to working as a freelance writer, taking on as many projects as he could to meet their needs. From dusk till dawn, Bernard poured himself into his work, the echo of Ethan's laughter in the back of his mind, serving as a continuous reminder of the purpose that drove him. Sure, the work wasn't always fun, but it allowed him to work from home and be able to tend to Ethan whenever he was needed. 
Together, they built a life filled with love, laughter, and boundless opportunities. Ethan grew into a confident and resilient young boy, guided by his adoptive father's unwavering encouragement and guidance. For ten glorious years, Ethan wanted for nothing, as Bernard not only made sure that he had everything that he needed, but also everything his heart desired. The two of them had an immeasurable warmth and support of a genuine father and son duo. However, fate had an unexpected twist in store for them. One seemingly ordinary day, a gentle knock reverberated through Bernard's front door, instantly capturing his attention. It was late, and they didn't often get visitors at that time. Curiosity drove him to open it, revealing a sheepish-looking woman who asked if a boy named Ethan still lived there. Bernard frowned slightly with confusion as he demanded to know who she was. The woman revealed herself to be Ethan's biological mother, hesitantly revealing her true self. She told him she had noticed Ethan a few weeks back and had instantly known that he was her son. Then, she decided to explain her reasoning behind her heart-wrenching decision all those years ago. She said that she had been coerced by her old boyfriend, who promised her all kinds of things and more money than she could ever dream of if she got rid of the child. And while she admitted that she did live a life of luxury for several years, she never truly loved her boyfriend and regretted leaving Ethan behind. Bernard listened, though in the back of his head, he knew he didn't truly believe what she was saying. It all just sounded like excuses to him. Still, he was torn with conflicting emotions and knew he owed it to Ethan to allow him to make his own choice. With a hesitant sigh, he called Ethan from his room, his heart pounding with anticipation. How would the boy react? What would he do? What would he say? The room fell silent as Ethan listened to his mother's recounting of events, his expression shifting between shock and sadness. Yet, within his young gaze, Bernard saw an unyielding determination. He could tell that Ethan was having the same thoughts as the ones that had been through his own head. Ethan's biological mother was clearly shocked to see what a large and strong-looking young man her son was now. When she had last seen him, he had been an adorable four-year-old boy, but now he was practically a man. She couldn't believe how much of his life she had missed out on, and she couldn't wait to resume her role as his mother. Still, there was one more discovery that she was about to make. As Ethan opened his mouth to speak, his voice was calm and level. He thanked his biological mother for bringing him into this world, acknowledging her role in his existence. Without her, he wouldn't be here, but Ethan made it clear that their relationship started and ended there. He told her that it was Bernard who had brought him up and treated him like a son. Bernard's unwavering love and support meant that he was his true parent in every sense of the word. Not the woman standing before him with a shocked look on her face, with a gentle yet resolute smile and nod. Ethan closed the door before turning and giving Bernard a heartfelt hug. From that moment on, Ethan and Bernard continued their journey as father and son. The love they shared went far beyond blood ties, solidifying their unbreakable connection. Together, they faced life's challenges, cherishing every precious moment in their shared universe. There was no doubt that their story would forever be a testament to the power of kindness, compassion, love, and the resilience of the human spirit. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? What would you have done if you discovered a poor boy abandoned on the park bench? And how would you have reacted to your mother's return if you were in Ethan's shoes? As always, we'd love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.